How's it going guys? Hope you're doing awesome. So in this video, we're going to do another machine learning algorithm from scratch. Um, and this one is very dear to my heart. If you watch the introduction to my videos. Uh, so I'm talking about the, the famous logistic regression. And uh, in this video, I'll show you how to implement it and uh, try to show the relevant derivations. Um, but I'll also link to, to another resource if you really want to understand more about its mathematical uh, derivation. And this is more of an implementation video. But with that said, let's get started. So we're going to start with import numpy as np. And then we're going to do from sklearn.datasets, we're going to import make blobs. So this is just uh, for an example data set so that we can make sure that it, it's working. So what we're going to do is we're going to do class logistic regression. And we can start with doing the, uh, the skeleton code of what we're going to have. So we're going to have uh, in it uh, and I guess this is going to be quite short we're going to have define in it and we're going to have define train and we're going to send in x and y and uh, yeah we're going to have two more so we're going to have predict and then we're going to have define sigmoid and that's pretty much it and then we're going to do if name equals main we're going to call the the function from here so we let's do pass on this for now and let's start with the init function so just briefly we're going to have the important um, sort of we're going to define the learning rate etc here the number of iterations to train here we're going to do the actual training step and the prediction predict will be uh, after training, we're going to use that function to predict what, what our class labels will be. Um, and uh, and the sigmoid is just the um, the nonlinear function that we're going to use. So let's do the in itself. That learning rate is learning rate. And we're going to send in those here as well. So we're going to send in the training set x. We're going to send in learning rate and just set a default of 0 0.1. And then we're going to have number of iterations to be, I don't know, 10,000 quite arbitrary but uh, and then self the number of iters we're going to do number of iters and uh, from the data set uh, it's going to be structured in a way that we have the training examples of the rows and the the number of features uh, along the um, the columns so we could do self.m self.n is x.shape where m is the number of training examples so we can write that to be clear m for training examples and for features and i guess for uh, number of training examples and number of features and that's all we need to do, define in the init so i guess we can start with doing the uh, the sigmoid so the sigmoid is just uh, i'll show the mathematical uh, uh, sort of the uh, formula for it but all we're going to do is return 1 divided by 1 plus np exp of minus z. And z in this case is just going to be uh, w transpose plus b. Uh, w transpose times x plus b. Um, we're going to come to that a little bit later. And yeah, so let's do the, tra the training now. We can do self.weight. We're going to define weight to start with np uh numpy zeros and uh, it's going to be self.n comma one so it's going to be a column vector with uh the dimensionality will just be the number of features that we have to to match uh, the uh, the input x and then we have uh self.bias which we're just going to define as zero after initializing the uh the weights we're gonna do the training loop so for iteration in range of self dot num iters um, yeah plus one then we're gonna start with calculating the hypothesis hypothesis uh, and uh, we're gonna do y predict is gonna be self dot sigmoid right and we're gonna do mp dot of x self dot weights plus self dot bias so as I said before, Z is going to be uh, W. So the formula is W transpose X plus B. Uh, but remember here that it's that's for a, tr a single training example. And what we're doing here is we're doing a vectorized variant 
where we're sending in X to be a, a matrix for all of the training examples at the same time. So we sort of have to adapt a formula to, to fit to this uh, more vectorized implementation. Uh, but it, it's exactly, you can do it with loops and it's going to follow the formula that I showed previously. Uh, but doing it vectorized, that's how you want to do it. And then we're going to do the cost, which is just going to be following the formula, I guess. Um, we're going to do minus one over self dot M and then NP sum of Y element wise multiply with NP log of the prediction. Uh, and I'll also show the, the formula for it uh, on the screen so you can compare and uh, then we're going to one minus Y times NP log of one minus Y predict. So there should be nothing strange here, I think. So we can write here, calculate cost. And after that, I guess the most difficult part is the, the uh, back prop or the, the gradient, the, the, the um, deriv derivatives. So um, all we're doing here is we're just differentiating uh, the cost with respect to the weights and the bias. And these formulas, um, if you do them, and I'll, I'll link the resource for it and you can go through it yourself, but they come out to be uh, th these formulas right here. And uh, there, there's going to be two differences to what we're doing. So what we see, the formulas that we see on the screen are for a specific feature of the weight vector. Okay. But we're going to do it in a vectorized variant so that we get the, um, the vector instantly without using a loop uh, iterating through all of the features. So J would be one up to N. We're going to skip that part. And we're just going to do it vectorized instantly. But we're also going to add another thing, which is that we're doing it for all of the training examples at the same time. So uh, we're doing it for all training examples. And then we're taking an average of that gradient to get a to get sort of a, a better gradient uh, gradient direction. So um, again, I'll link it below if you want to go more in depth on your formulas. This is a, this is more of the implementation. So I'm, I'm sort of assuming that, you know, some of the theory. Uh, so we're just going to do back prop. DW is going to be one over self dot M uh, times MP dot of X transpose and then Y predict minus Y. So th that's that's the formula for uh, the cost with respect to W in a vectorized uh, way. And then DB is going to be one over self dot M times MP sum of Y predict minus Y. Yeah, so you might have to spend some time really understanding these formulas, but with those uh, now written, it's going to be quite easy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to update the step self dot weights to be minus equals self dot learning rate times this this gradient. So we're using gradient descent here, and similarly for the bias. And then we can do something like if iteration is one thousand, so modulus one thousand rather, uh, we can do something like print uh, with f string uh, cost after iteration iteration and then is cost and all we want to return from this at the end after the training loop is just the weight uh, that's all we care about and after the training we're going to do a prediction probably on a, on a separate set sort of the, the test set or something and that's where the the predict function comes in so this is going to be, we're going to do y predict to be self dot sigmoid of, of uh, mp dot of x comma self dot weights plus self dot bias. So following this right here, right? This is just copy pasted from this. And then we're going to do y predict labels is y predict. And we're going to do greater than 0 0.5. So if it's strictly greater than 0 0.5, it's going to uh, guess that a class is one. If it's below or equal 0 0.5, it's going to guess the class is zero. Uh, and again, remember logistic regression is for two classes. Um, so uh, you would use logistic, logistic regression if you have two classes and uh, you can of course expand this using uh, one, one versus all method or um, expanding it using a multinomial um, logistic regression. But we're just doing sort of the basic one here. Return why predict labels and uh, yeah so now the the, the it's uh, we're done with the logistic regression and we're just gonna make sure that it works 
and uh, how we can do that is um, we can set a random seed first of all so that if you try to uh, follow the video you you should get the same results hopefully and x comma y will be make blobs of number of samples we're gonna just send in a thousand and centers to be two again we use centers to be two because logistic regression is for two classes it's a it's a binary classification uh, algorithm and then we're just going to do y and then np new axis just to make the, the dimensionality work for what we uh, want in this algorithm um, so i guess this would be instead of having a thousand comma we want it to be an actual vector of a thousand comma one and uh, yeah just a, a small detail i think it's because if i remember correctly it's because we we're doing this element wise multiplication and the, the dimensionality needs to to be correct in in, uh, in those multiplications uh, but, but yeah so let's do logistic regression to be logistic regression of we're gonna send in x uh, and wb uh, will be logreg dot train and we're gonna send in x and y again then we do y predict uh, logreg dot predict of x and i guess in this case we're just using the same data set you would normally have a training and a test set of course but we just want to make sure that it, that it works and then again we do print accuracy and we can do np.sum of y is equal to y predict and then we can divide by x shape of zero which will be the the number of training examples and uh, if we run this now this should probably be working hopefully if we don't get any errors Let's see so uh, we can see that it's, def it's uh, the loss is uh, decreasing quite nicely and um, um, the accuracy is 100 percent so yeah it's probably overfitting but at least we can see that the the algorithm is doing something uh, that seems to work uh, you you could also in, in implement a, a uh, regularization term included and uh, that could be one step to add on this algorithm uh, but hopefully you were able to follow uh, this uh, this tutorial on logistic regression um, yeah thank you so much for watching the video and if you have any questions then leave them in the in the comment section below